Oh, this is how we're going to cut a circle edge to porcelain. There you are, we've uh, marked the porcelain with that blue line to the shape that we are looking for. Wouldn't be able to mark it all the way through because a couple of the paving we're going to have to turn around and mark from the other side. So we overlay, mark and then use again. Just see the blue line. So just to show you, this is a, a blade, a continuous blade, high speed, and as you can see, along there, there is fragmented. Nothing that you're going to see, really, unless you got close up. But I can clean that up now with our special blade. Well, there you are, there's the first cut into the porcelain in a circular format. Dry laid in, ready to be laid. I've got the angle, I've got the angle slightly wrong on this edge here now, and I'm not quite happy about it. So I'm going to have to cut about six of those planks to ensure that it looks nice and straight. And I'm going to do it with this, hopefully. Well, there's the first cut. And as you can see, there is no fragmenting along there. And uh, cut that nice and straight. And sometimes what will happen is that if you don't go parallel as you're going down, and nice and even you'll get some tension and the porcelain can actually fragment inwards or outwards and then you have to start again then so I'm just going to take my time with the rest of this another five cuts to go well it's working this small cut here came loose but that's not a problem I can deal with that but I've got that one cut as well Quite a long cut that one. I've got two more to go. Fingers crossed. Well, that's looking much better. I sound a bit muffled because I'm wearing a mask to ensure my health and safety, but I feel so much better knowing that line is absolutely perfect. Let's see if I can cut that last one now and ensure that it doesn't fragment. Last cut. Well, there you are. I've done it. Should have done this in the first place, but sometimes you get things wrong. But as long as you correct it, all be well.